Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the Self Mama Fashion Release vlog here on the Plenty Flow channel. My name is Heather and this is Louisa. She's going to be demonstrating some formal learning techniques for you today. So this is part three of the video series about what can contribute to knee pain. So today we're going to be talking about adductors, all right? So the gracilis is uh, an adductor that is attached directly onto the knee. Um, so when adductors are tight, they tend to pull your thighs inward, causing stress on the knees during physical activity, and it's just no good at all. So I'm going to show you how to conquer that area and relieve any trigger points that you may have in that adductor. All right. So Louisa, you ready? Yes. Okay. So go ahead, lay down on your stomach. And we're going to go ahead and you're going to bring your foam roller parallel to your body. All right, right by your hip. And then what you're gonna do, Louisa, is you're going to bend your right knee up so it becomes hip level and you're gonna place it on the foam roller. Now when you do this, a couple of things to keep in mind. Number one is you're working the lower half of your inner thigh, okay? So be aware of any pulsing. If you're pulsing, you're probably on um, a vein or an artery. Just get off, okay? <laughs> so good. All right, and then numbness, tingling, no good, burning sensations, get off, all right? So those are some things just to keep in mind. Again, your body is filled with nerves and etc so you just want to be careful with that all right so with this position you're working the lower half of your inner thigh so we're gonna go ahead take your foot and you're gonna relax it on the floor now with this you're gonna go ahead roll about like a half an inch until you find a piece of tension and again it's a completely different sensation than let's say for example the IT band that we visited in a previous video but it doesn't mean that just because you don't have any trigger points here, it's still not good for you to massage this area, all right? So how are you doing over here? Are you feel anything? Yes. <laughs> all right, so now all we're gonna do is once you're here, we're just gonna go ahead and move the foam roller up a little bit more, Louisa, lift your five, there you go, come back down. All right, so now once you're here, we're just gonna go ahead and gently just move the thigh upwards so you're getting more into that tissue area, all right? And then how is that? You felt the change, the little yes. bit of difference? Okay, cool. Yeah. Now, the reason why we do that is because you want to get further into the problem area. So once you find a little piece of tension, go ahead, lift your knee upwards. It's keeping your leg pressed against the foam roller, all right? Now, you don't want to apply any tension. I'm not pushing down on her. I was just simply lifting the knee up a little higher, all right? Now, as you're here, you never want to roll on your knee joint, okay? The whole point of this is to relieve tension from the middle of your thigh about like one inch above the inside of your knee, okay? So let's fast forward one minute, okay? <laughs> now let's go ahead and follow the tension, roll about one to two centimeters wherever you feel the most tension. Can you find it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so once again, we're just gonna go ahead and move this up a little bit and you're just gonna breathe and relax into it, okay? So again, it's all about relaxing. So sometimes, subconsciously, when we feel pain, our body likes to contract muscles because it thinks that it's being injured. So just bring awareness to that. You're not injuring yourself. Relax into it. Um, no applied force pushing down on you. You wanna make sure that your body just has its natural weight pressing into the foam roller, okay? All right, so that's it. Make sure you do it to both legs, please. Okay. <laughs> Until the next video, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you soon. One love.